Alright, I have here a package from ZTube. This just arrived. So let's get into it. Alright, so. First up, we have a. Um, let's see, so this is a Chi two by three by three. It's a pretty neat cuboid. I have here. Ooh, this looks like a. Looks like a Diane puzzle, in here. Just in a Z cube box. That's interesting. Um, I wanted the original Diane box, but that's okay. Okay, so this is a one by three by three cuboid, and again from Chi. Um, this one has tiles. have here a uh, unmarked cardboard box so let's see what this oh this looks like the alpha 5 that's really exciting i wish it came in the original alpha boxes but um, it's okay uh, here we go here is a um, Diane Zanchi 55 millimeter. Uh, it does come in the nice Diane box. It's interesting. It looks like uh, looks like the cube is not fully solved. Put that aside. And the last item in here is this is pretty big. This is a, let's see, this is a Chi four leaf clover cube. It comes in this really nice looking display case. So, that looks really pretty up right here. So, I'm going to go through the puzzles in order. Maybe not in order. Okay, so let's start with the Chi 2x3x3. By three by three. Now I have a 3, well I have a 2x2x3. Two by two by um, so this is similar except it's a two by three by three. Let's do first turns. Okay, pretty sandy. Otherwise feels good. Feels like good quality GE plastic. A little bit dusty out of the box. So it'll be really fun to solve this. It turns really nicely really smoothly. Not really any corner cutting, but that's okay. Okay, now for the Diane cube. Now I think this is the Diane 57 millimeter Zanchi. Let's see. Yeah. Try to get this Z cube box open. Here it is. Okay, so 
It's a pretty old school kind of cube. I'm excited. I always wanted one of these back in the day. Never had the chance, so Z Cube had them on clearance, so I decided to pick up them before they went out of stock. Okay, so right away. Um, stickers stickers are not completely flush I don't know if you can see that there's there's some um, lines like indentations in them but right, let's get to uh, first turns oh, that's pretty nice uh, this corner cap is coming out coming off a little bit this feels like a really nice cube even by today's standards feels pretty speed cubable and it has these interesting corner designs where it's not the squared off corner it's very angular very diagonal so let's try to get out of a piece Okay, so that was pretty hard to get out. And yup, that is a Diane Zanchi design. But really strange, well strange by today's standards, it has this really strange base. So the cube feels pretty tight right now, so I don't think popping is going to be an issue. Let's test out some corner cutting on this. So all right, so we can do on these tensions just about to 45 or so. And let's try reverse. Reverse is pretty snappy. It uh, on these tensions, it, the reverse is okay. It's not that great. It's probably pretty snappy because of these these angled corners. We have this classic Diane logo here. Really classic. All right, so now let's check out the 55 millimeter version. And the other version is uh, 57 millimeters, which is quite large by today's standard. Here we have a 55 millimeter mini Zanchi. Let's try to get this box open without ruining it. That's pretty interesting. It came not fully solved with the U2 move over here. Well, it feels just like the full size version. Uh, this one is in stickerless, and these look like some pretty old shades. The white is the same. That's a it's a very dark red, and a pretty dark yellow. You don't see that nowadays. This green is also pretty dark. You might see something close to a dark green. 
This orange is quite dark also. So these are classic old Diane shades. Let's get into some first turns. Okay, right away there's some spring noise. And doesn't turn as smoothly, although with a little bit of lube that can be fixed. So overall this does feel like a pretty nice cube, pretty usable. So out of the box it can corner cut 45 and can do a little bit of reverse corner cutting, but that is a very loud snap. Have some spring noise. And it's the same familiar Zanchi mechanism. The really interesting corner stock. Nice, okay. Now for a cube that I'm really excited for. This is, you see over here, this is the Alpha 5. Now this is a really old school cube. This is before, this is pretty much before the Zanchi. And I got this cube because, well, back in the day, I always really wanted one, but I never got one. I had actually messaged the pretty popular Cuban YouTuber Thrust, or I think his name is Tristan Wright, his YouTube channel is Thrust, and I asked him way back in the day, what kind of cube should I get? And he said, you should get the Alpha 5, it's the cream of the crop. Well, I was pretty surprised they still had these in stock. So now I have it. Wow, look at that. That is Alpha 5. And you see, we have almost no rounded edges here. Just very, very slightly rounded corners and rounded edges. Let's get into some first turns. Wow, that is an interesting sound. That is... I don't think I've ever heard a cue that sounds like this. It sounds very hollow. And it's pretty scratchy right now. And the tensions are also pretty tight. Okay, so it's a little bit rough, a little bit tight out of the box. Man, is this a cool cube, really a part of cubing history. Okay, so let's see what the mechanism looks like here. This just looks like a Rubik's brand mechanism that's been modified slightly and it's quite hollow. Wow, these corners are basically just a Rubik's brand mechanism.
But, you know, unlike a Rubik's brand, this cube can actually corner cut a little. So let's test out some corner cutting. So I can't quite do 45 degrees forward. Let's try reverse. Yeah, barely does any reverse, but it's on a very tight tensions right now. Now, something else interesting here is that you can see in these center caps, you can see they're sort of like on the edges of the center caps, there's some sort of protrusion or something. Now, I wonder if that's just how the caps were made. I wonder if I can, should be able to take these caps off to tension it, so. Yeah. Well, there you have it. This is a tensionable cube, which was a big improvement. I'm actually surprised this came fully assembled instead of as a kit, because usually back in the day, um, DIY cubes would come in a kit and you would have to assemble it yourself and put in the screws, put the screw into the core, put in all the pieces. And it was, it was pretty fun doing that actually. All right, so here's a checkerboard pattern of the Alpha 5. You can see these are pretty nice shades. Compare them to, let's say, the, the Zanchi. This green is actually kind of bluish. And this uh, red and orange contrast could be a little better. It's still okay. And these are, this is a pretty dark yellow and a uh, pretty dark green and a dark blue. Okay, now we have the Chiyu 1x3x3. So this is a uh, floppy cube, I believe. Let's get into the box. So it has tiles and it looks quite cool with the tiles and the inner center it's not exactly square it has these concave curves to it so let's try some first turns That is pretty sandy out of the box, but it does turn pretty well. And this puzzle should be pretty simple to solve, although I don't know how to solve this. You can see this is a Pretty interesting pattern. So it does shape shift actually. Okay, so finally I have this, this, this big non WCA puzzle. This is a Chi Clover Cube in a really nice display case.
and this is quite heavy as well. This is a very large cube. So we compare this with the 57 millimeter Zanchi, and it's actually bigger. So this, this non WACA puzzle is it's like the size of a 4x4. All right, so I guess to open this, I will have to remove this bottom layer over here. comes it with this nice stand Wow this is quite heavy this cube is really quite substantial Really nice shades. It feels like a really high quality puzzle. So let's get into some first turns. Wow, that turns really smoothly. I got this puzzle because I have a lot of fun with my Kirby Copter. That's a Land Land Kirby Copter. And I think edge turning puzzles are really cool. So here's another one. I don't know how hard this will be to solve. I don't think it will be too hard. This is just a really nice quality puzzle. So after I finished filming, I discovered that with the clover cube, you can actually do these sort of jumbling moves that you can also do. Let's see if I can get it. this jumbling move that you can also do on the curvy copter. So there we go. So that's pretty neat. Here's something I did not notice about the 2x3x3. So if you turn it, if you turn one of the layers like this, it would appear like you can't turn, you can't turn this face, but you actually can. Just, this is super interesting, the way it just sort of goes behind the other QB. Can't turn it like this, but you can turn it like this. That is really cool. So this alpha cube right out of the box is really loud. Very hollow sounding.
So the plastic of the Zanchi is kind of this off-white grayish color and the plastic feels a little bit different than normal plastic that came with either old DIY Rubik's brand type cubes or today's cubes. All right, so there we have it. The order from Z Cube. And you can see that the two Zanchis are just a little bit different in size. I don't really mind either size. Not terribly fast, speed cubey anyway. All right, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.